Hello, New Hope. Pastor Gary here. I hope your day is going well. We pray for health and prosperity for all. Uh, we love you, and it's our, our desire to minister to you in whatever uh, way that we possibly can. Just a little side note, uh, the last couple of months I've paid my tithes and given offerings online, and I found it to be extremely simple to do. So if you're thinking about whether or not to, uh, to do the online thing, it's very secure, and um, I appreciate that it's there. So today I want to talk to you just briefly about my favorite psalm. Whenever, whenever uh, things come up in my life, I run to the psalms because David went through so much, and uh, one of my favorite psalms is Psalm 103. And so I, I'll read a little bit of it and comment as we go through. He begins it like this. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who Forgiveth all thine iniquities and healeth all thy diseases. I'm glad for, for the Lord, how he has watched over me for an entire lifetime. And I, I appreciate that. I give him glory for it. And in writing this, David was saying, From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, everything that is inside me is about loving God. And it's about being a man after God's own heart. So uh, I trust today you're seeking God. I trust that each of us together can draw closer to him during these, these days of solitude in our homes. So reading on, he forgives all our iniquities, heals all of our diseases. He redeems our life from destruction. And I think about who I could have been and where I could have been had I not met Jesus when I was 17 years of age. He indeed has redeemed this life from destruction. He satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Now, I'm, I'm getting older. I'm getting closer to uh, that day when I'm going to meet Jesus face to face. But he renews our strength from day to day. And again, for that I bless him, for that I thank him. I thank him that he's given me yet another day to serve him and to love him. Uh, the Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. And this next one is so powerful. He made known his ways unto Moses and his acts unto the children of Israel. They saw what God could do. They saw the parting of the water. But it was Moses who was obedient to God and raised his rod that parted the waters as the Spirit of God worked a work. So God revealed himself to Moses, who he really was, the inner workings of the mind of God. And God spoke to Moses as face to face, friend to friend. And uh, so I, I marvel at the fact that God wants to do that with you and with me. He wants us to know his heart. He's merciful and gracious. He's slow to anger and plenteous in mercy, the King James Bible says. God's mercy in, uh, endures uh, forever and ever. And he, uh, he goes on and he says he'll not always scold us or chide, neither will uh, he keep his anger from us forever. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. If you're going through a really tough time, understand God is not making this happen to you. God loves you. He wants to bless you. And so the things that are happening are, are not necessarily a result of the scourging of God. Sometimes things happen, and they're just a natural result of perhaps a bad decision. But God loves you. He wants his very best for you. As the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. 
And this next one is so powerful. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Notice it doesn't say from the north to the south. Uh, you can uh, you can get in a jet airplane or a helicopter or some so, sort of of transit, and you can fly north. And at some point, you reach a point at the top of the globe where any direction you go, even the opposite direction from whence you came, you would be traveling south. So God didn't say as far as the north is from the south, because you can only go so far and and uh, your sins would find you again. But he says from the east to the west, and you can begin traveling to the east and never make it west. That's how far he's removed our transgressions from us. Like a father pities his son and his daughter, so the Lord pities those that fear him. He knows our frame. He remembers that we're dust. God is very, very um, loving, and he cares for us. As for man, his days are as grass. As a flower of the field, he flourishes, and then the wind passes over it, and it's gone. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him. And this is one that keeps me coming back to my, my Bible and back to the house of God and back to the feet of Jesus. The mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. I love my grandchildren, and I'm thankful that God's promise is for them as well. To such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments and do them, the Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. Man seems to have temporary control right now, but God ultimately is in control and my life is in his hands. Bless the Lord, you his angels that excel in his strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless Ye the Lord, all you host, you ministers of him, of his that do his pleasure. And that's every one of us. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. So it starts the way it finishes. All that is within me, all who I am, I bless you, the God of heaven. I hope today finds you well. Again, we pray for you, Lord Jesus. I pray for your people. And uh, I want to say the ironic blessing over you. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his peace upon you and give you peace. Amen.